we come together in, in holy matrimony this evening to exchange your vows. Uh, in the beginning, God reached into the dust of the earth, made man in his own image, and breathed into his body the breath of life. But God did not stop there. He also created a woman, and therein brought into existence that which had not been previously. The divine duet of man and woman, the crown of, crown of God's creation. So God, through his wonderful creation, commenced a marriage and gave it the seal of his divine approval. The family was created by God, set into motion by his all-loving hand, and intended to be a reflection of his love and order. The Holy Scriptures teach us that the bond and covenant of marriage is a gift of God, a holy mystery in which man and woman become one flesh. Not the same, but one. As Donald and Sarah give themselves to each other this evening, let us enter into the celebration confident that marriage is given by God, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, and sustained by the presence, power, and comfort of God's Holy Spirit. can sell your paintings on the sidewalk and buy a cafe where I hope to be. This evening you are both declaring your intention to establish a Christian home and the fulfillment of your life together. How like the church in the relationship to her Lord is the wedding of two people. May you see in this relationship between Christ and his church the pattern of love and devotion for husband and wife. Now, Donald, will you take Sarah to be your wife? Will you commit yourself to her happiness and her self-fulfillment as a person and to her usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve her in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her so long as you both shall live? I will. All right. Sarah, will you take Donald to be your husband? Will you commit yourself to his happiness and his fulfillment as a person and to his usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve him in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to him so long as you both shall live? I will. All right. Now, Don, repeat after me. I, Donald, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. I, Donald, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. And I promise before God, family, and friends. And I promise before God, family, and friends. That I will share my life with you. That I will share my life with you. In all love and honor. In all love and honor. In all faith and tenderness. In all faith and tenderness. Through joy and sorrow. Through joy and sorrow. In sickness and health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Now, Sarah. I, Sarah, take you, Donald, to be my husband. 
I, Sarah, take you, Donald, to be my husband. And I promise before God, family, and friends. And I promise before God, family, and friends. That I will share my life with you. That I will share my life with you. In all love and honor. In all love and honor. In all faith and tenderness. In all faith and tenderness. Through joy and sorrow. Through joy and sorrow. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. May I have the rings, please? The wedding ring is a symbol of marriage in at least two ways. The purity of gold symbolizes the purity of your love for each other, and the unending circle symbolizes the eternal nature of the vows which you exchange this evening. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may rejoice in your peace and continue in thy favor all the days of their lives. And amen. Now, Dom, you take the ring, place it upon Sarah's third finger of her left hand, and holding the ring there, repeat after me. Sarah, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. Sarah, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. And with all that I am, and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. All right. Now, Sarah, we take the ring, place it upon Donald's third finger of his left hand, and holding the ring there, repeat after me. Donald, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. Donald, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. And with all that I am, and all that I have, I honor you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. For as much as Donald and Sarah have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God, and have pledged their faith each to the other, and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. O oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of marriage that in it is represented the bond between Christ and his church. Send therefore your blessings upon David and Sarah that they may keep their marriage vows and so grow in love and Christ likeness together, that their home may be a haven of blessing and a place of peace. In Jesus' name, and amen. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. And amen. Donald, you may kiss your bride. Yes. Congratulations. There we are. Thank you.